Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We're here with another video, everybody. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and turn your post notifications on so you can be notified every time I go live or post a video. Getting into today, to today's video, y'all, we're using the 3XL Square No See Curve Tips from Bomb Nails. Also, we will be using Strawberry Mochi from Bomb Nails. Also, my size 16 Kalinsky brush also from Bomb Nails and we're going to be doing a beautiful 4th of July set today. How is everybody doing today? Y'all, this set took me till 4 o'clock this morning. Actually, I have not been to bed yet. Okay, um, I decided that by the time, um, well, first of all, I messed my sleep schedule up. Let's talk about it. Um, I messed my sleep schedule up. Um, the other night I was binge watching a show and I kind of stayed up all night and then I slept during the day and now here I am staying up at night. I think yesterday, uh, I woke up for dinner time. Yeah, I was so tired. Um, I woke up for dinner time and then I was up all night. So around 10 o'clock I said, you know what? Let me do a set. I haven't done a set since Freestyle Friday. Um, I had a bunch of PR to get out. Um, and yeah, and I still have some more PR. It just sometimes like if you let that stuff pile up, it piles up. Um, so yeah, I let it pile up a little bit. I've been a little lazy. Okay. Sometimes content creation y'all is like, it's like a full-time job, dude. It is. It is. Especially when you do have like PR and stuff. It is like a full-time job. Every time I turn around, I have to do a video. Okay. And sometimes I just don't feel like doing a video. Sometimes I just want to relax. You know what I'm saying? Especially after working all day. Okay. So I try to get my stuff done on the weekends, but then it's like, ugh. Sometimes it could be a drag, y'all. For real, for real. Sometimes it could be a drag. Anyway, um, we did free uh we did some Fourth of July nails on Freestyle Friday, but then I was like, I want to do an actual video. Um, so I came up with this set. This is a freestyle, y'all. Uh, I couldn't find it took me a while to find the inspo that I found for Freestyle Friday. Um, I don't know. I just there's not a lot of unique designs out there for like the 4th of July or like same with Juneteenth there's not like a lot of like good inspiration out there um I looked on Instagram nobody was doing 4th of July nails at all and then I went to Google and all I could find was the same stuff so I said you know what let me just go off of the set I did Freestyle Friday um you know do some Frenchies and you know go from there um, so that's what we're doing. I did a freestyle. So, yep, that's what we're doing here today. It came out very cute. Um, sometimes when I do freestyles, y'all, it comes out better than when I create, uh, or do inspos, um, or get my, get my nail set off of somebody else. You know, you know, get an inspiration, duh. Anyway, y'all, I just want to let y'all know that, um, happy 4th of July, everybody. Uh, this is one of my favorite holidays. I am a proud 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 American I love America and I love my country and you don't see that a lot of days no more uh especially over here in America and I never got that like there's a lot of people in the world who are proud of like their country and where they come from even some of the people even some people from like the poorest parts of the world or the most violent ridden parts of the world like Africans are proud to be African they're proud of their heritage and where they come from Haitians Jamaicans um every, a lot of people from places that aren't all that great you know um as far as like violence wise and poverty and stuff I'm sure the islands are beautiful and these countries are beautiful and there's beautiful parts in these countries but a lot of them have like very high uh, poverty rates and those people are proud to be who they are and where they're from but here in America nobody's proud to be an American and it's like kind of sad and I'll tell you why it's sad because one we live in the greatest country in the world most probably 99.9% .9 of Americans could never survive in a real like a country that's like war-torn or um, impoverished like if you threw an America an American First of all, let's talk about Haiti, okay? Haitians live off less than a dollar a day. You could not throw an American in the middle of Haiti. They would be begging to come back to America. 
Same in the Middle East. Youth aren't American in the Middle They're going to be begging to come back. So I think people should be a little bit more proud of who they are and where they come from, um, especially if you're an American, because technically you won the lottery. How many millions, billions of people are in this world? So you had a one out of so many chance to be, you won the lottery, okay? Being born in America is literally, that the chances are like winning the lottery or getting struck by lightning, like, you could have been born in a place where you have to walk 10 miles for water, but yet you are you are afforded the luxury of a sink. You are afforded the luxury of a toilet, a shower, jobs, food. Do you know what happens when you're hungry in America? You get food stamps. You know what happens when you're poor in America? You get Medicaid. They have shelters. They have housing programs. They have all of this stuff. Do you know what happens when you're poor in other countries? You starve and die, okay? So I think people should be a little tiny bit more appreciative that they are an American and they were born in this great country of America. Because I know I am, baby. I know I am. Um, anyway, uh, enough of the blathering. I am going to let you beautiful people watch um, this application process. And I'll be back. I'll be back when we get into some nail art. And I love y'all, okay? And if you're new, welcome, 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 welcome. Um, and if you've been here before, well, you already know what it is, okay? You little hobnocky. So I will be back. I'm a little bit delirious, people, because, again, I've been up all night. Uh, so, yeah. Just, just let, just, just letting you know. So if I say anything a little, you know, that doesn't make sense, just understand, understand and bear with us. Okay. Watch the application and I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back.
Friday. I'm back. This is what the nails are looking like so far. So now we're going to go in with City of Love by Nail Reserve Firefly. Also from Nail Reserve. And One in the Blue. Also from Nail Reserve. And my new Blue Jolie from Madam Glam. Also this Red Dynamic that came in um my dynamic i got a bunch of liner gels from them i'll also be using my 25 millimeter my nails by dev nine millimeter brush also my bb blender and a cleanup brush and my four in one dynamic base coat um i didn't use the aurora gel because i didn't think it went with this set i thought i was going to use it because it actually is a blue um i don't i forgot what i was going to do with it i think i was going to do some stars with it some like 3d stars but then um it just didn't go with the set so i decided not to do that so right now i'm just putting on my base coat um i'm going to go in and cure that for 60 seconds and then i'm going to go in with my bomb oh i'm also using bomb nails white gel polish I'm going to go in with my Bomb Nails white gel polish, and I'm going to go ahead and do a Frenchie, and then I'm going to clean it up 80 times. <laughs> Actually, this one went very well. Um, one of the Frenchies I did have an issue with, it was my pinky, and I think that's because I don't think I cured um, the... Uh, the base coat long enough. Um, I only cured it for like, I kind of popped it in and then popped it out. Um, like kind of like like a flash cure kind of and then I noticed I was like oh hell um, it was a little bit greasier than I would have liked and you can tell I had to keep going over certain parts um, because it kept like kind of spreading because this is a four in one it's also like a blooming gel a base coat I think it's a, a top coat too. it's a four in one so it does other things so if you don't cure it all the way um, you'll have other things happen with it. Um, I love it as far as a blooming gel because the blooming gel I have from Dynamic is very thick. With blooming gel, it kind of poofs out to give that blooming effect. So when you, even if you put a small amount on, you only have a certain amount of time to get those lines or whatever you're doing on the nail before it really puffs out. Um, or the gels start running into each other. So I do actually now kind of like to use this as uh, the base coat as a blooming gel. And I use that on Freestyle Friday uh, for a blooming gel. I can't wait, y'all. Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow is the 4th of July. I had to get this set out, y'all. Y'all, so I have a story. Um, the other day I came home. What was I doing? I forgot what I was doing. But I came home from somewhere. Um, and, oh, I went to the store real quick. I came home and the guy downstairs, remember the one, the, the landlord's brother, the one that um, was uh, unlocking the door, trying to make it look like we were keeping the door unlocked, the one that hates us. So anyway, he was outside. <laughs> he was outside and um, I, I'm le and when I go to leave, I actually was there when I went to leave too. So when I, I'm going to leave, he's sitting out on the front steps, um, can't breathe can't move like I'm like are you okay like he's like no I'm not so I leave I dip I come back he's still there all right I've never seen this guy out there that long um so I'm trying to help him in however he has like I don't know if he's on blood thinners or what I remember when my grandmother was on blood thinners like she used to get like these blood clots in her arms from anything like you could literally flick the woman um if you're like if you're on blood thinners it makes you bruise real easy um you could literally flick my grandma and she'd have a bloody bruise somewhere so anyway I'm trying to help this guy up um the stairs I shouldn't even be helping but my heart is too kind um you know, I shouldn't have even helped because of how nasty he treats me and my kids and stuff. But like I said, my heart is too kind. And, um, yeah, I was just compelled to help. And, um, as I'm helping, I notice that this dude's arms are fucking bleeding and he's gross guys. He's farting all over the place. He's about to shit on him. Like, yeah, like this is, it's crazy. This listen, and he can't lift his foot into the door. And I'm trying to help him, trying to, like, direct him because he kept putting his one foot in too far, almost like a split kind. And I'm like, how the hell are you going to pull your back foot up if your front foot is all the way up there? Like, like, make it make sense. Um, but anyway, so when I see the blonde, I almost drop the guy because, ew, blood is nasty, guys. Okay, I don't care who you are, what you're doing, family, no family. When you, when somebody has got, is bleeding, you have to take all precautions all precautions okay because blood is disgusting that's somebody's personal blood like that can do a lot of damage okay blood can do a lot of damage um 
And I just noticed, like, it's all over my shirt. And I'm like, oh, hell nah. Like, this is what I get. I should have just left him out here. So I'm hitting um, his sister up, who's my landlord. And uh, I'm like, um, your brother's out here. I think he's dying. Um, he needs help. Um, nobody came, y'all. So I'm just standing there. I'm like, all right, well, let me go upstairs and see what your sister's doing. He's like, she's not coming. And I'm like, no, she might come. I think she's coming. But 25 minutes went by. She bitch did not come. It was so funny, dude. Oh, shit, are they out there? Is somebody listening to me? So anyway, um, so I go upstairs and uh, I message her and she's like, well, don't call. She told me to call 911, y'all. And I'm like, dude, I'm not calling an ambulance. So anyway, uh, long story short, an ambulance game. But now, guys, he's in the hospital. Kidneys are failing. Um, it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. I'm like, holy shit. Like, I'm, I'm over here, like, having anxiety attacks, like... You know what I'm saying? Thinking I'm going to have a mass heart attack. Uh, I think, I think they're, I'm on my back porch, y'all, and I'm talking, and I think somebody's out there, and I think they're listening to me. They are. I can hear them. I can hear them. I can hear them hear me. You know what I'm saying? I can hear them hear me. Anyway, y'all, this blue right here on this... Oh, so I almost forgot to put my base coat down again. Because base coat really helps, y'all. Use a base coat, okay? Um, yeah, we're going to move past that story, okay? Because I'll tell y'all freestyle Friday, okay? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, this blue is really pretty. Um, I got this from, obviously, Nail Reserve. Um, I was trying to get colors that I didn't have. I have so many pinks, y'all. I'm not... I'm... I'm not allowing myself to pick pinks anymore because of all the pinks I have. My collection is just all pink. It's ridiculous. I was looking at my pinks yesterday because I was moving them because I got this new um, shelf thing that I just put up. So I was moving all my polishes over and um, I was like, wow, I have a lot of pinks, dude. I have two purples and no, I have like probably like five purples, but I have like eight all the rest are pinks. Okay, like I have a lot. So from here on out. I'm going to get colors that I don't necessarily like um, because you never know who will, okay? Um, because when I do colors that I like, I get the same colors over and over and over, y'all. I get mad at myself for it. I'm like, I have this color in three different brands. Like, why do you have this color in three different brands? Um, so, yeah, we're just going to do some nail art, y'all. I'm going to go in, finish up these Frenchies, y'all. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little set for y'all for the 4th of July. By the way, this was not quick. I started this at, like, 1030. Um, I was done at 430. Yeah, because at six, me and my daughter walked over to the store to get a drink. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, anyway, y'all, enjoy the rest of the set. Happy 4th of July. Um, I'm going to try to stop being lazy, um, start doing more content. Because I really do enjoy content, y'all. It's just very time-consuming. Doing nails, is uh, on even on yourself, just one hand, the one hand I do for content... It is time consuming. Like, like I said, I was there till wee hours of the morning and I don't get up. Like, I, I mean, obviously I get up to take my cigarette breaks or whatever, but no, absolutely not. And the application doesn't even take me long. I think the whole application on this took me like maybe 30 minutes, dude, maybe 30 minutes. Okay. Um, but you do take more breaks when you're alone, um, you know, doing your nails. I was actually not going to do the nail art till the next, I was like, you know what, let me go to bed. I'll do the nail art tomorrow. But then I was like, no, no, go finish it because you're not going to do anything tomorrow every time i say i'm gonna do something tomorrow it never happens okay um so again y'all uh happy fourth of july i love y'all i will see y'all for freestyle friday um yeah man i'm excited i miss y'all all week um especially my girls man i miss y'all all freaking week um and i can't wait to see y'all so Again, happy 4th of July, everybody. I hope everybody enjoys their holiday. Um, it is a state holiday, so I am off. Um, and I hope everybody has a great time, whether it's with friends or family, um, has a positive, safe holiday. Um, and I love y'all. I really do. I love you and I appreciate y'all. If you've made it to this far in the application or in the video, um, leave a blue heart. Leave a blue heart, okay? Yeah. Um, 
yeah, so we're going to go ahead after, well, after I clean this up 80,000 times, we're going to go ahead and cure it, you know, why not, why not, thank you so much, Chris, for these little finger condoms, I'm starting to actually really use them, um, and they are a big help, because I don't want to be touching this stuff, even though with them on, I still touch stuff, whatever, they help, okay, look at my beautiful lamp over there, 78 watts, baby, 78 watts, that thing is amazing, if you don't have it, go get you it, 15% off, great deal on a 78 watt lamp that's amazing and beautiful um and yeah and yeah so we're gonna we're gonna get out of here now we're gonna go okay before i pass out okay because <laughs> i'm tired Ooh, that's a nice breeze oh that breeze is nice all right y'all i love y'all have a great and safe holiday have a great day and i'm gonna try to get this video out as fast as i can and I, like i said i hope y'all enjoyed it See y'all on the flip side. Oh, crrr.